must stay in quarantine. <laughs> I want to be a macho car. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's going on guys, welcome back. Today Devin and I have got a few things on the agenda. The first one is we're gonna go try and pick up a fitness bike. I don't know the brand, but she found kind of like a knockoff. We were looking for a Rogue Echo bike and pretty much all the bikes are sold out. Uh, no matter where you look online for like home gym type equipment. So we're gonna go try and pick up this uh, exercise bike. We might do a review on a bait that we just picked up, but that's up for, that's up in the air. We got some new foster cats at the moment, and I'm gonna go ahead and get out to the car and put some rods in the truck so we've got the opportunity to fish while we're out. Let's have some fun. Seems like we haven't really been driving the STI very much. Um, the Camaro I just took out in yesterday's video. Gotta get these rods out, but to do that I have to like, move the Camaro out of the garage real fast with the tackle So we're just leaving the house loaded up in the truck we are headed to go pick up the bike that i found on facebook marketplace that has been our go-to during this quarantine it seems like for finding uh everything that we're purchasing um i'm getting a stationary bike it's nothing special it's just something to get me by nothing special by god damn it <laughs> See? <laughs> like you guys know all of the gyms including our crossfit box is closed at this time and normally we get a decent amount of cardio in just by working but since we're not doing that either um and the fridge is just always there with food in it we've got to find some way to get some cardio in so that's where this bike is coming into play so let's go get it all right Got the bike, we're good to go. All right, we picked up that bike, but like I said, Rogue is just like completely out. We really want the Echo bike. Uh, sells for like close to $800, and shipping is backed up on their website, and they're not even in stock at all. So it's just like kind of like get a notify me type of email whenever they're in stock. Then it's probably gonna be delayed another almost month. It's just crazy. So I'm gonna put out a want to buy Rogue Echo bike post on the Instagram real fast and see if anybody has one. We're willing to drive like probably two, three hours away from DFW just to pick one up if anyone's got one that they don't want anymore. So Rogue Echo Bike, we are in the market. Probably gonna do some fishing here shortly. We are actually just grabbing some wing stop and we're at the uh, vet real quick picking up one of our dogs some of her medications and then we're gonna try and get after some largies. Wing stop baby, the wing experts. Woo! Please wait in your car until your order is ready for pickup. Done. We might have just messed that up. <laughs> the vet office was closed from 12 to 1. So we're like, okay, let's order Wingstop. It's right across the street. We go pick up the order. We come back across the street. Bam, there's like five cars there. And you have to write your name on a sign-up sheet outside the front door. And they help one person at a time. So we might be here in a minute. Let's just save our Wingstop. Meds in hand, as well as wings. <laughs> I don't know if y'all are aware, but this is five-star dining. During, <laughs> this is quarantine at its finest, y'all. Gugan Apparel, brand new, 15% off code Weston. Hell, best way to eat. All right, y'all, we're now on our way to fish, but we just stumbled upon an awesome looking field of blue bonnets, Texas State Flower. Check this stuff out. Checking to see if there was any fishies in here, and it does not appear that way. Let me just give you guys a peek here. Yeah, I'm thinking there's nothing in there, so let's make our way to the pond. What to throw, what to throw. We have some swim baits tied on. We got two bluegills, we got one working class zero citizen six. We've got a drop shot, and I have the baby trench hog. Today we're going both ends of the spectrum. We are going finesse with the baby hog and the drop shot. And then we are going extra large 
zero F's given on the Citizen 6 inch and we're gonna see if anything will do. Well, that was pretty lame. 30 minutes of nothing on bottom baits, drop shots, so slightly elevated, swim bait, creeping it slow. Might go get some coffee next on the agenda, otherwise we're just gonna try another pond. Either way, we're gonna fish a little bit more, but uh, yeah, that was not the spot today. Got the Starbucks. <laughs> Yo, we have got the coffees, and wouldn't you know, I found a sweet spot on Google Maps, and then I kinda cross-checked with the Fish Brain app. Any place that looks this awesome, I try and fish. Crystal clear, as far as I could see, at the top pond, there's two bodies of water right here. Might go finesse jig. Oh, there went a bass. Got him. There we go. First one here. Got one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> First one out of the rock quarry. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Drag and drop for the win. And it looks like he's been caught before. Oh no, that was just my hook. Little guy, but hey, I didn't even know if that was a bite or a snag. That'll do. First catch. A drop shot is always a good option in clear water. Real finesse get their attention see if there's some more over here got him there's two <laughs> two back to back <laughs> <laughs> drop, <laughs> drop shot by the fountain. Oh my gosh. That's funny. Man, they're feisty too. And look at the pattern on him. It's pretty uh, uh, pronounced. That's a cool little fish right there. Got him. See you, bud. Oh my gosh. Look, look at him. He just, he just chased it all the way to the bank. All right, here we go. Here's through. Here's two. Two chasing it. Two chasing it. Three chasing it. Oh God, they're gonna go for it. Oh, look, look, there's three. Oh my gosh, they started to see us. Did you see that? Gotcha. First fish, first fish. little dink. Good deal. Come on, bud. I'm not even going to be mad that it's little. First little fish on that baby trench hog. Awesome. Right up next to those rocks. We just got to be patient with these guys. Like Weston was saying, I think they're just pretty dang finicky. y'all see them down there just on the grass line all right guys I think we're gonna call it at this spot we spent almost an hour here yeah, there was a bunch of them on the grass line right there that's kind of where they're all hanging out uh, nothing even chasing the big swim baits though was over two pounds like like in the three category at least and I do not doubt there are some big fish in either of these and we'll be back to visit them but today it's not the spot so we've got one more pond to visit that we've caught some decent fish at try and reel you guys in something big for today's video and then probably head back to the house maybe set this bike up a little bit later and see what else we got in store catch you at the next pond all right all right all right we've made it to the golf course we're gonna try and catch a hog at this spot right here maybe some jigs and texas rigs undecided but all we know is we're not gonna catch anything unless we get to the water how y'all doing uh just got here we caught a few at a spot down the road but just getting started stay in quarantine <laughs> I want to be a macho car <laughs> that'll be the intro <laughs> oh 
Oh, okay. Wait, is that a fish? Wow. It seemed like a damn fish. Give me a crack and crawl. <laughs> Black and blue was the color of choice last time, but oh, speaking of, a little juicy finesse. Honestly, that could be halfway decent. Damn that chatterbait. Jackhammer. I don't know. Yeah, this could honestly. The bluegill swim baits could probably kick ass here too. We could, uh. Oh, just kidding. Got him. Yep. Oh, come over here. He's kind of big. He's kind of big. Come over here. Come over here. I'm coming. You got it. You better, you better keep that tight. <laughs> <laughs> I can't catch my, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Don't go off. Well, you better flip them up here. I'm trying. <laughs> my shoes are not stuck. <laughs> well, <laughs> we caught a big one for you. <laughs> I almost busted my eye. I almost went in the water. <laughs> Well, jackhammer's worth the money, they say. All right, guys. <laughs> First decent fish of the day. Probably a good, uh, I don't know, two, two and a half. Two and a half, probably. Let's put it on a scale. Quarter. See what we're working with. All right. Actually, yeah. I was wrong. Looking at a little over three. Sick. 3.19. Awesome. <laughs> Hit on that uh, Z-Man, the jackhammer chatterbait with that eliminator trailer right on the other side of the pond pretty close after I ended up starting to reel it in this guy hit awesome we'll go ahead and let him go <laughs> doing work oh man all right about three and a quarter let's get some more man that was sweet chatterbait so far is taking the lead There we go. Ooh. Woo! The uh, hers is bigger. <laughs> Got a little guy right there on the jig. Yeah. <laughs> About as soon as it hit the water that time, that was funny. Cast after on the jig. That was actually on the, uh, this little guy was hungry, man. That was on the gridiron jig with a bandito bug trailer watermelon red flake and this is the three eighths ounce all right let's let him go time for more i didn't think that was going to happen that fast i was assuming the jig might not be getting hits like that chatterbait but also they hit that chatterbait right away almost like they hit it on the fall possibly with that eliminator trailer so i don't know man that was right on the edge of the grass on the other bank like right over there Oh, yeah, Fuck, he just took my worm. Did that thing just smash the drop shot? Yeah. Oh, I just pulled it out of his mouth. Dang it. All right, that last bite took my watermelon red flake. So that was the last watermelon red flake that we had. So I'm switching it up. I'm gonna throw on that sunset bug. Weston describes it kind of as a I guess you could say almost like a little bit of a watermelon red flake on the top, but more of like a cinnamon on the bottom. So this water is pretty, pretty clear. Let's go ahead and give it a toss. See if it doesn't do the trick. Gotcha. Fish on, fish on. He was swimming with it. Got him. There we go. That might be a little one. Oh, he's okay. Jackal Gantrail Bluegill Swim Bait. There we go, guys. Uh, come on up. Oh, Devin's on too. Double up! Weston and I, dang! He got a good one. Definitely bigger than mine. I think. No way. Doubled up, huh? 
We done doubled up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two completely different baits. I was using the drag and drop for this little guy and Weston was using. I was using the Jackal Gantrell Jr. man. It's been killing it for us lately on some solid fish. And uh, this water is clearer than normal when we hit this uh, specific spot. It's normally pretty murky, but uh, with the good visibility, I figured a lifelike swim bait could get the job done. Cast it close to the bank where we've been catching most of them, and that's actually where this guy hit. All right, let's get these chunks back in. All right, guys, and with that double up, we're going to end on a positive note. There's some more golfers teeing off on the side that we were fishing, so we're just walking back to the truck. We actually better get back to the house. It's 5.30 and uh, let the dogs out. And then also we'll try and put that bike together. Maybe do a little home workout, maybe not, who knows. We got a little bit more in store for you on today's video though, you guys, so stick around. Let's see what this bike is all about. We just got the Camaro out of the garage. Oh, you know what, the tailgate's locked. Still on the hunt for an echo bike, but this is gonna have to do for now. Ah, check that puppy out. Kind of tiny. Look, uh, I think we got it all outside of the box. Pedals, seat, uh, keep track of your calories, distance, speed, blah, 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 handle. The handles aren't moving like on the assault bikes or the echo bikes or some Schwinn bikes, but it's gonna definitely be a quad burner, that's for sure, and get the calories, heart rate going. That's the goal. So far so good, I got the base lined up, working on the foot pedals, and then whatever's next. Coming along, this is starting to look like a bike. Kind of is, huh? Little piece is bent a little bit. I'm gonna have to bend that out to get that on the seat frame. We weren't really able to bend that plate out on the fly, so we just opted to kind of hammer it on here. This is pretty much the finishing touch, then we just gotta mount the monitor on this thing. Cross the seat on here, crank her down, and we are in good shape. Got the seat on tight, now I'm just cranking these, cranking those foot pedals in, and I think we're pretty good. It kind of makes it look like this thing just slides on. I think that's, I think that's done. Well, that was cool. Install takes literally almost no time at all. They supply all the tools you'll need, which is just the one wrench and Allen head or whatever. And uh, what's the brand? Illrax or something like that? Home use spin bike. Yeah, took me 20 minutes to put this thing together. Don't know if I recommend it yet. We're gonna have to put some time in on this thing. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Man, I just got four calories in on that thing. That's not a joke. I guess it's so weird, but like the sensor plugs into the bottom of the screen. It kind of runs through the body. And then this is like the piece. It's just, I don't know how it does it, man, but it keeps track of the distance and the calories. That's cool. Devin's breaking shit. Okay. We got it customized to our liking. I gotta say this thing's actually not that bad. We took off those little shoe deals. You know what I'm talking about. The hold your shoes in place. Didn't want to deal with that. And then that drink holder, we took that off because we found ourselves just like hitting it and like messing it up because it's just uh, thin aluminum or something. And so we just wanted to take that off there to clear that space. The uh, calories are reading out. It shows distance. We have gone, we have gone almost three quarters of a mile. And then you tighten or loosen the tension with this knob right here if you want to make it harder to pedal. So now it's getting significantly harder to pedal. You loosen it up, it gets easier to pedal, uh, but the calories aren't gonna go up as fast now, so. All right guys, to finish off today's video, Devin and I are doing a workout that we just kinda came up with to uh, really burn the quads. It's gonna be a tough one, a 14 minute EMOM, which is uh, CrossFit slang, I suppose. EMOM, every minute on the minute. And we're just gonna do two movements. We're gonna do squat cleans, and we're gonna do the bike. So on the bike, we're just gonna try to stay moving the whole minute, whether it's a slow pace or a fast pace. We just want to uh, keep a decent heart rate and stay moving is the goal on the new bike. And then when we switch, uh, we're using this, we're using the app called SmartWad, and it's gonna beep at us and give us a three second warning before we have to switch every minute the movement. So we're just gonna go back and forth on the bike and the squat cleans for 14 minutes. And our score, if we can keep track, if we choose to, is gonna be <laughs> uh, the number of reps we get on the squat cleans. I think I'm gonna do 95 and Devin might do 65. 
Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. 14 minute workout. We'll bring you guys along for just the highlights real fast and then probably wrap up today's video if we don't end up showing you guys what we got for dinner, which is just a Stouffer's lasagna. Quarantine simple. <laughs> Quarantine simple. Also, I set some dumbbells over here. That way, in case my barbell rolls, uh, those will hopefully stop it from hitting the car. <laughs> stupid. Don't plan. It would have been a lot more challenging if we had set a calorie pace that we had to hit on the spike every minute, but we wanted to get used to it. So we just stayed moving the majority of the minute every time. All right. Catch you guys for dinner. Ah, uh, that was fucked. Oh my God. Is everybody hungry? Dinner time? Marshmallow has different food for his diet, so we uh, always close these doors because Max and Milo always try and steal his food. All right, cleaned up. Got the Camaro parked back in the garage for the night. Bike is bam, sitting pretty. And we opted out of the lasagna idea. We actually decided that we are gonna go for some beef stroganoff in the Instapot. So, that thing's building up to pressure. GoPro batteries are charging for the next few days vlog activities, and I'm probably going to cut this thing off and get to editing. So we will see you on the next few. You guys, thank you for joining us for another day of quarantine and unemployment. Peace out. <gasps>